Can you imagine what it must have been like to have been an apostle and a disciple of Christ, to watch all the things that he did? He'd open the eyes of the blind, he'd allow legs that were crippled to dance, he'd even raise the dead. And one story from the Gospel of Matthew that is very fascinating in this wonders of what Christ does, is that one time the, uh, the apostles were out in the middle of a lake, and suddenly Jesus came walking to them on water. I, I've often heard that story and just kind of let it go by and say, oh my gosh, well, because Jesus is God, he can do those kind of things. But if you go a little bit more deeply, I think that you can understand what was this miracle working, these wonder working things that Jesus did, aside from a deep relationship with the people first who were sick, who were suffering, that he empathized with them. And I use the word empathy, but it's like I want to I want to put a uh, put a multiplication time on that because he totally gave himself to those people that had leprosy, those people that were blind, those people that couldn't talk, even the people were dead. And there was just an energy that came out as he loved them, loved them in the flesh, loved their bodies and longed for a unity of togetherness to happen. Well, I'm thinking of this idea of walking on water and it awakens in me the awareness especially as we, we speak of ecology today, that Jesus had a wonderful relationship with the physical world, not only with bodies that were sick, but also a wonderful relationship with the wind and with the water and with the earth. Christ was present with these people and almost there was a, a relationship, if you will, so that when it came to walking on water, there was, there was kind of a, a condensation of the, of, the, of the water to say, yes, come, come, walk on us, be part of us. May we try to, to hear Christ as he says, I empower you now to do the things that I've done. Certainly that we start to pick up that empathy as we run into people that are hurting physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and give of ourselves and know that in that giving, God can augment that into a wonderful healing. But also, what about getting into that physical world? What about being in touch with the wind? Being in touch with water? Being in touch with the, the physical world in which we live in a respectful, honored way that perhaps can be the key of the direction, not just of living moral lives and, you know, not breaking the Ten Commandments, but living in union with the creation that God has given us in our world. It's a sacred world and Christ speaks to us of a beautiful union and a beautiful life with the sea and with the wind. May we be more and more sensitive to those things all around us and find our relationship with God enhanced by our relationship with the wind, the sea, and the earth.